Our objective for this lesson is to solve rational inequality. Actually, this is part 2. So if you haven't watched part 1, I'm urging you to watch it first. Prerequisite knowledge needed are graphing solution in the number line, interval notation, and set builder notation. Solve the rational inequality x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x squared minus 16 is less than or equal to 0. Step 1. Write the inequality in general form. One side must be 0. Check. And the other side can have only one fraction. One fraction only. Check. Step 2. Find the critical values. Set the numerator and the denominator of the fraction equal to zero. Then solve. If trinomial, factoring is a useful strategy. So our numerator here is a trinomial. And it is factorable. The factors are x plus 2 and x plus 1. Quick check. 2 plus 1, 3. That should be the middle term. 2 times 1, 2. That should be the third term. Factors are correct. Now, for the denominator, we have difference of two squares. So, our factors are x minus 4 and x plus 4. Copy less than or equal to 0. Now, we are going to equate each factor to 0 to determine the critical values. So, let's start with the numerator. x plus 2 equals 0. Moving to the other side, x equals negative 2. Next, x plus 1 equals 0. Move this. x equals negative 1. For the denominators, we have x minus 4 equals 0. Moving to the other side, x equals 4. And x plus 4 equals 0. x equals negative 4. Step 3. Make a sign analysis chart. Use the critical values found in step 2 to divide the number line into regions. So from step 2, we have 4 critical numbers. Now let us draw our number line. Since we have 4 critical numbers, we're going to make use of 4 tick marks. And then we analyze which one should be placed at the leftmost, followed by what number, and so on. So we have negative 2, negative 1, 4, and negative 4. So negative 4 is at the leftmost, followed by negative 2, and then negative 1, and then positive 4. Now, the critical numbers divide the number line into regions. So we have region 1, region 2, region 3, region 4, and region 5. Now, let me show you our rational inequality. I used two different colors to easily determine where our critical values came from. So, negative 4 and positive 4 came from the denominator. And like what I've said in part 1, the denominator cannot be equal to 0 because our inequality will become undefined. So, for negative 4 and positive 4, we're going to make use of open circle. Negative 2 and negative 1 came from the numerator. And it's okay if our numerator is equal to 0. So, for negative 2 and negative 1, we're going to use shaded circle. Now, let's determine the intervals in each region. So, from region 1, that is negative 4 going to the left, which is the negative infinity, our interval will be negative infinity to negative 4. So, like what I've said in part 1, if it's infinity, we're going to make use of parentheses. And open circle also uses parentheses. For region 2, negative 4 to negative 2. One open and one shaded circle. So we have parentheses for negative 4 and close bracket for negative 2. Region 3 from negative 2 to negative 1. Both are shaded circle. So open bracket and close bracket. Region 4 from negative 1 to positive 4. One shaded and one open circle. So we have negative 1 uses open bracket, and four parentheses. 
For region 5, that is from 4 to positive infinity. So, open circle is parenthesis. Infinity also uses parenthesis. Step 4, perform the sign analysis. So, let's have our table. Region, interval, x value. These are the factors. These two from the numerator and these two from the denominator. The last column is the left-hand side of our rational inequality. Let's start with region 1. Let's copy the interval, negative infinity to negative 4. Assign any value from region 1. I'll make use of negative 5. And then we substitute that value to our x's here. So negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. We are only after the sign, so negative. Negative 5 plus 1, negative. Negative 5 minus 4, negative. Negative 5 plus 4, negative. Now, for the last column, I'm going to teach you a technique. All you have to do is to count the number of negatives. If the total count is an even number, then the sign here is positive. If the total count is an odd number, then the sign is negative. So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 is an even number. So, the sign in the last column is positive. Region 2, from negative 4 to negative 2. Assign any value from region 2. I'll make use of negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2, negative. Negative 3 plus 1, negative. Negative 3 minus 4, negative. Negative 3 plus 4, positive. Count the number of negatives. 1, 2, 3. 3 is an odd number. Therefore, this is negative. Region 3. From negative 2 to negative 1. Assign any value from region 3. I'm going to make use of negative 1.5. So, negative 1.5 plus 2, positive. Negative 1.5 plus 1, negative. Negative 1.5 minus 4, negative. Negative 1.5 plus 4, positive. Count the number of negatives. 1, 2. 2 is an even number. Therefore, this is positive. Region 4, from negative 1 to positive 4. Assign any value. I'm going to make use of 0. 0 plus 2, positive. 0 plus 1, positive. 0 minus 4, negative. 0 plus 4, Positive. Only one negative and one is an odd number. Therefore, this is negative. Last region from 4 to positive infinity. Choose any value in region 5. I'm going to make use of 5. 5 plus 2, positive. 5 plus 1, positive. 5 minus 4, positive. 5 plus 4, positive. There are no negative here. Therefore, our sign here is positive. Then you look at the sign of your inequality. I have here less than. If it is less than, choose the negatives in the last column. So this is negative from region 2. Another negative from region 4. Now let us shade our number line. Region 2, let us shade region 2. Region 4, let us shade region 4. Step 5, write the final answer. For interval notation, that is very easy. All we have to do is to copy our interval. So from region 2, negative 4 to negative 2, union. From region 4, negative 1 to positive 4. That's it. Now, for set builder notation, that is a little bit of a challenge. Let's start. So, x is an element of real number such that. Now, if you are confused on how to do this, let me share with you this technique. So, all you have to do is to determine the boundaries on each region included. So, from region 2, the boundaries are negative 4 and negative 2. So, you write those. Negative 4, a little bit on the left. The negative 2, a little on the right. And then for set builder notation, we're just going to use less than or less than or equal to. So for negative 4, since this is parentheses, you use less than. 
near negative 4. Then for negative 2, since this is bracket, you use less than or equal to near negative 2. And then x at the middle. So that's it for region 2. How do you read that? x is less than or equal to negative 2 but greater than negative 4. Let us continue. So union, so or. Now we have region 4. Boundaries are negative 1 and then 4. Negative 1, bracket, so let's use less than or equal to. And then for 4, since this is parenthesis, let's make use of just less than. And then x at the middle. So that's for region 4. Gets?